of all the animes in summer 2024 that I am most excited about, this anime is the most interesting in concept to me. Because I love the, the aspect of one trick pony doing only one thing and one thing so perfectly that you become a god. I used to play Teemo only in solo queue. People hated me, but I took pride upon that. And this anime, apparently, they only parry. This guy does nothing but parry. Something about that is just so compelling to me. But even if the concept is good, if the anime execution is bad, then it just might be another mid anime. Hopefully, it's not going to be bad. Let's check out parry anime. Uh... We laboring? Lore. Whoa, the animation is... Is that rotoscope? So he's just a good guy that goes around doing labor work? We're just laboring. Bro has like three separate jobs. Dungeon. Waifu asking for help! He's got a lot of scars on his body. Okay, we're already in a dungeon in a battle scene. Minotaur-like monster? Northwest Clay's Kingdom 15 years ago. <laughs> the production value is pretty good so far, right? Hi, Kaa-san. It's and like the reason that I focus on like the production value in these like quote unquote pointless moments, right? When you don't need to increase the budget. This really shows how much like anime studios are willing to min max. Because like if you look at like a, a casual scene with not much going around, if you see start to see a lot of like assets and NPCs and like CGI, obviously they're min maxing to save the resources, but if they're willing to like fucking make it look good even in the moments where it shouldn't really need the budget that's like pretty good signs but yes classic anime mom terminally ill where's dad okay <laughs> jesus is a soup tap <laughs> Don't worry, mom. I'll cook the soup you love. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she didn't miss a beat. Soup Not that goddamn soup again. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, all right, here's that disgusting soup. It looks pretty good. Yo, is she dead? Is she, she oh? She hated the soup so much, she decided to die before she could get the last soup. Salute, mother. Damn, that soup really killed her. In my head, Cannon, the soup is what made her terminally ill. <laughs> Live strong, kid! Live strong for your mother! Wonder what's beyond the rock, though. There's a whole ass training arc. And yeah, that is the dad next to her. I just realized. You're right. The, the, the rock. There's two rocks, right? So, mom and dad. GG. Unlucky. Roll again. That's lonely. There's a book up there, though. Papa! You go hunt monsters and shit. Make money. Okay. Okay.精霊の王から万病を癒す薬を打っても仲間のために剣を振るって悪を倒す。それが冒険者。この話からにしようか。冒険者。you want to be an adventurer? Live that life then.
Now what? Just how do we be an adventurer though? We need to go to a city. It's the rocks? <laughs> it is. The rocks is like cubes. And it's like a barrier containment zone. Interesting. And yeah, <laughs> the animals are dead now, I guess, huh? He just abandoned them all. <laughs> he should have sold them all before he left. I don't think there, there was anybody in this place, actually. I don't think there's anybody in there. Maybe they can be all self-sustaining, but uh, rest in peace, uh, farm animals. <laughs> wow! Isekai map number- wait! It's a bit different! It's a bit different! Right? You got couple gates like Attack on Titan. You have Mall War. Oh, I almost says Mall Warrior. Wall Maria. Jesus Christ, my dyslexia. Wall Maria. Wall whatever. Wall Ave whatever. And there's a mountain. There's a mountain in the middle, right? So that's pretty hype. Okay, okay, it's a bit different. The bustling town of adventurers. Strong looking dude. Koko da. Guild receptionist? Let's meet her. The first time I'm seeing then it, uh, it's a native isekai, but usually the guild receptionist is always just like a busty girl, right? Ooh. You wanna be my papa now? Apply for adventure? We need to go through a training school first. Got it. Yo, who's gonna pay for the tuition? We probably broke. Perry, only Perry. Oh, we can join? Ooh. What? <laughs> wait, wait. The whole purpose of this training session here is to wait until the fucking blade like turns into fire. That means he activated his power. Okay. <laughs> Just keep swinging till it ignites. Are we no good? Uh oh. You have no talent. Goodbye. Oh, come on. He is right. He's right about this. Instead of just swinging our sword, we should learn how to succeed in the things that we're good at. Right now, we are a fish trying to climb a tree. Should a fish try to climb a tree? No, a fish should be swimming in the ocean. And that swimming part is the parry and evading right now. Let's go do that. Warrior. Warriors. We're just going around to that's kind of cool how these different schools these different training camps have like a specific role for each right so we were like a swordman you know so a swordsman uh training camp now we're doing like frontline warrior tank you know stuff like that what's next we're gonna go through every school here and get rejected <laughs> What's next? Did we break all that shit? Wait, wait, wait. What is the mountain of piles of bows? Did we break all this shit? We did. Okay, I'm sorry. The thief time! Rejected by everyone. We have no mana. Right, just say no. Just, just say no and go. And why you gotta say shit like, wow, it's actually impressive to see how much of a loser you are. You are such an outlier. You're like the top 0001% in the other side of the spectrum. What's next? There's so many job schools here, man. And we got kicked out. Oh, it's, it's impressive that we can use low level healing without being naturally blessed. We were kind of talented there, but we're still getting kicked out. Thank you, I guess. All right. Did he lie? <laughs> I wonder if he lied. How many was that? How many schools was that? Like five? Six? We spent like, what? Two years plus? Fucking... Going to different schools and getting kicked out and we can't do shit? This sucks, man. We should have focused on the parry, though. 
Nor. Do we kick that out of the town? So, 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 it's a good spirit, you know, to never give up. Maybe. What about that as a parry, though? A parry is something that you're supposed to do while an attack is coming at you. You just initiate it there. Am I wrong? I thought a parry is basically someone attacks you and you counter it, right? There's an attack coming and you parry. For example, Elden Ring, Buckler Shield, the easiest thing is attack comes, parry, then stab. Sekiro, you parry the attacks coming, but I guess in these, you know, forests, like, what are you gonna do? You can't make the sword come at you, so you're just gonna knock it around, and then it's gonna come back at you, and you try to fucking parry that shit? Body! <laughs> Only parry. Every day. Parry, parry, parry. Still parrying! Still parrying! <laughs> Woo! Multiple parry! See, he said I can evade, right? Swords in one breath now, so the animation may not look like it's coming at him, but basically, like, these all are coming at him, and he's parrying. Don't need any new skills, just parry. Three years of just parrying! One hundred swords, parry! No, he's probably gonna be so insane. He's gonna keep parrying until the amount of swords they can parry all at once is gonna be even crazy, right? Where is he getting the scars from? I'm not sure. Maybe during the training, man. I I, I don't know. I, I feel like he's only, you know, fighting against these wooden swords, but maybe that cut him? Who knows? Damn! I am not oh 10 years later now but like this training scene again I kind of wish that they would show us him actually parrying because right now he's just swinging and now he's saying like oh I can evade 100 swords now so my idea is okay he's gonna swing it all up and 100 swords you know they move around and then he's evading or parrying I, I kind of get what they're trying to do but I wish that they would show us actual parries you know happening that the parries that I know from video games anyways 10 years of just parrying. Woo! This power! Okay, that wind pressure alone is just. <laughs> For 10 years, right? This isn't plus 10 from the last time, right? This is 10 years total. So he has just been doing one single thing for 10 years. And now a monster is about to be unleashed onto the world. 14 years total? So it's been additive? It's at 10. 14 years of parrying? <laughs> this dude has been 14 years of one swing. That takes an insane level of like dedication and effort. But like in his mindset, he thinks that he's not strong enough yet, right? That's why he keeps parrying. Over these years, it's like, okay, I can do this, but I'm not gaining a new skill. Therefore, I cannot fight against monsters. But right now, he is probably on like some ridiculous level of tier. It's just, he just doesn't understand, right? Nah, you don't need it. You only need parry, bro. Mom and dad. Okay, one more time. 15, 14 years later. He flame low heal. Well, this time we got a new guild receptionist. We got a guild girl. I guess the guy kind of retired. But like, damn, you really gonna embarrass us like this? Are you sure this is what you have? I feel like this list of skills is really shit. Surely you're not that weak, right? You got something else, right? No. I'm sorry, that's all we got. Oh yeah, we know. We know. Well, maybe now all the teachers would have retired by now. We got new teachers and so if we go there, they're not just gonna kick us out because it's just like, oh, it's you again. It's just like, oh, welcome, you know? Really? Oh, it's him again! Uji-san! Uh, puberty hit him hard. 
Remembered his name. That's impressive. Swung a sword in the forest for 14 years. Okay, okay. We do have useful skills though, but I guess the I, we have like heal, small fireball, evade, parry. Are they not that useful? Just one of them? Really? None of it's useful? Our skills are just so bad base level, they don't even consider it useful. Oh? Oh. F rank. F rank. <laughs> wow. Let's go, F rank. Okay. So we're a public servant. Like, we're not going outside doing adventuring. This F rank exists to do community service, bricklaying, laboring. Like, bro, there's no shame in doing those jobs, but like, come on, you can't just say that we're a fucking adventurer and then place us doing random labor jobs, bro. He'll do it! He will do it! <laughs> used to be a job that beggars used to take on. You know what's messed up, bro? In the past, well, this isn't the past. This is an anime. It's a work of fiction. But the fact that you can even just go up and just get a job like this. Imagine this kind of system existed in the real world right now, in this current modern age. People would go there. You would get rejected from F rank. There's a fucking queue of people that's willing to do that shit for no pay, bro. Straight up. <laughs> so happy about an F rank <laughs> license. <laughs> the F rank adventurer in the town. <laughs> Sneaky? Okay, okay. He can heal those, but not the scars. Where did he get the scars from? Was it really just training with the wooden swords? He's still swinging. Tiny flame. Oh, we have stone throw as well. Very accurate. You say what you want. He's, he's having the time of his life, bro. He's so positive about all this. No, man, dream bigger. Is that just shit he's digging? I thought before he was like putting that in the sides to like fill it up. I think this is actual shit. Lat what the fuck is a latrine? Is, is, is this the fucking. What is this? It's like little. I don't know. Uh, it's like a not a mode of water. It's just a poop sewer. Ew! Back in the day, this is the sewage system, huh? Ew! <laughs> Nothing like the smell of shit in the morning. <sighs> That's just a fucking cargo of shit. And now we're almost at the intro scene, right? Waifu voice. <laughs> so once he goes in and somehow clutches for that party, they will acknowledge him to be at least more than F rank and an E rank. Then he can start adventuring, as I'm gonna imagine. <laughs> there she is again. We're right back at the <gasps> intro scene. She Parry his ass. <laughs> Yo, this party is cooked. The Minotaur cast that spell? Ooh, he's dead! Are you alright? Are you okay? Walk it off! Walk it off! You got this, buddy! Come on, take a little breather! I'm convinced that every character here is gonna die except the girl and the main character because like she's gonna be our waifu and the rest of the party needs to go away so they're all just gonna die right now. <laughs> all dead! Throw! 
Hurry! Buddy! Oh! First parry! Damn! Okay! Finally, this is the first parry of the show where an attack showed up and he parried that! Bop! Dude, that was a gentle little twist, too! Buddy! Oh, the sword's breaking. Buddy! <laughs> Ring activated. Buddy! Oh, so cool. Bokentan no Shujinko ni Narenaktemo. Meno Mado Obiel Shoujo Kraiva Mamoritai. That's what a real adventurer is. Let's go. She's not a friend. He's just down bad. But let's go. Oh, sword though. That's one way! Just parry the his own weapon back! Easy! Easy. So it was the Minotaur's magic? I wonder about this. I would have absolutely been slaughtered by anything bigger. I really wonder about this. Is he underestimating his own strength? I think he is. I think this is going to go the same way that Osano Adventure is going, where he's so strong, they've trained so hard, but no one's acknowledged them, so they think they're weak, but they're actually super fucking cracked. And I wonder if this parry system is going to scale harder as the enemy gets stronger, right? Like, if there's a stronger enemy that uses a stronger attack and you parry that, shouldn't it be also just as strong, the counter, you know? Why did her ring glow there? She has she, her. It was her ring that you know that glowed before he showed up there, right? There was actually a, a really interesting scene. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Was that? Him? No, it's different. It's different. It was not the girl. It was a guy on the ground that's already dead, right? I have no clue. That's that's a dead body, right? I think it is. I'm I'm a little bit confused. The, the ring glowed and then he showed up. I, I don't know. Maybe he's the one that set all this shit up? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is she like a princess? Lady Lindbergh, okay. So she's like some kind of royal? So she had a bunch of knights. And one of the knights... Nice Use that ring to control the Minotaur to kill her. So this is like an assassination attempt. This is all... There's something deeper going on. There's like a conspiracy. <laughs> Just leaves. I'm not one important. Goodbye. He'll get her later on. That isn't even a demon with such a menace. Again, like, I wonder how strong that monster really was. I want to believe that he's just underestimating himself the entire time, but... Isn't even a demon, so we don't know exactly what a demon is in this show. Are you guys ready for 14 years of swinging the sword again in the forest? He's going back into the forest, bro. He's going back home. The end? One, I parry a cow. <laughs> By the time it gets to like episode 12 or like the end, it's going to be like, I parried a god. And that's it. And that's today's episode of I parry only and it's way better than I thought it would be. I, I thought that it would be a shitty anime. I thought the concept was good, but maybe like the adaptation was going to be weak. But like, damn, the production value was amazing. It was pretty well paced. A little bit of like a slow training phase, but when you know, we need to set the establishment of the foundation here. So what's actually going on? We have Mr. What's his name? Noor. And he's like a, a mountain boonies guy because his parents like locked him away for whatever reason. I'm not sure why the rock was here kind of sealing away. You know, him, his village. Well, not even the village. It was just him living out here by himself with the farm animals, right? 
Wonder what's really going on there. Were they trying to like prevent monsters from coming in? Or is it the other way around? And Noor has crazy potential. Who knows? He goes around getting rejected by every training school. Like five or six. He spends three months at each. What's that? Like 15, 18 months of time just wasted. But it wasn't wasted. We learned some minuscule skill skills. But he just can't seem to learn anything else other than the base set that he has. And he can't even be acknowledged as like an adventure because it doesn't have like a useful skill. But the bro knows how to parry for sure. 14 years of parrying in a forest alone, and he's probably at some kind of god tier level where he keeps underestimating himself, and that's where the power fantasy will happen. He signs up for F rank, which means just clean up poop in the sewage, and then saves Lady Limburg in the dungeon, and I'm sure he's gonna get rewarded and he's gonna be able to live his adventure dreams. Now, what was going on with that knight, with that ring, that glue, and then the Minotaur also reacted at the same time? There's someone in here that was trying to assassinate the princess, and other than that, I'm not sure what's really going on. Seems like a conspiracy, but first episode, you know, impressions, pretty damn good. Gets me hopeful of this anime. Hope you guys enjoyed, because that's the only way we're gonna continue watching this shit, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.